Level twos are coming in. They want to lock down this pesky out. Fiend's grip as well. There's no save here. Ferreira. They'll get the tornado through. Cancel the fiend's grip. Oh, maybe he can live. The crush coming in, trying to keep himself alive with the Octarine Hill, but it's not going to be enough. And Error does get taken down. And nice they're going to try to push there. this. They want to force a buyback. They should be able to get it out of him. And they will just barrel down this lane. But at the same time, Ooh, refresh a coin for. Two invokers oh now. Oh boy, if they can hit a chrono, they're, they're gonna, gonna smoke. smoke up for the positioning as well. If they hit a good chrono, they don't need the out for this fight. Madar up in front, it's a fishy fishy. Oh, okay, catches out Thug. If they can take this, there's a huge amount of damage gone. Devil's gonna get dropped, starting to find his matter over. Look how tight this man is, he doesn't care. First hit bash onto Yapshaw, the back from wall, catching two. Kezu trying to tumble himself out of this one, Sin getting low. He's been healed up, not enough. He goes down, there's been a buyback from Error. As they look to lock that matter, chop, 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 they'll get the slaughter. It is a one for one, but it oh, did cost them thug. the buyback. Thug was so low after that fight. Good save there by Spartan, but Spartan forced the TP away. Koikfa not able to stop it, it looks like. So the Bay will make it out. The Ember heads the other way. Zip Bay do it out. Blinks to the north. The Alkstun still trailing him. Remnant as well. Get the hell out of there, man. That is going to leave a bit of a mark, but he should be okay. This is a lot of lockdown, and it really makes it hard for Adfinum to force the fight. Oh, they've they got a chrono! Thug. They've got a chrono! They'll drop it! Thug out of position, out of place! There's the Hadoukens! Now, two buybacks on the cores for Diggity. And, I mean, at this rate, we may see Adfinum have the buyback actually on Thug ready, so if the fight does go real bad, then he can buy back Remnant himself again. There's a chrono. Going and a the nightmare dodge, dodging these AMOPs, and look at the back line, Thugs jumped in, the charge for as well, they'll take down Yaptor, Wall getting dropped in the middle of it all, and Anfinim looks to move in, Koifa with a rare fresh, just trying to fight back there, with a four man Chronosphere here, but where's the follow up, it's just not there for the time being, they'll find Spartan, there's a buyback from Arrow who's been taken down, Thug trying to man up against Koifa, the concoction holding him back, Koifa turning around, Thug trying to remnant his way, but that's the only one got, he's not got another one down, and he's down! Thug down for nearly two minutes, and again, no diggity hold the base. It does cost them the buyback on error, but again, they'll do that every time to find themselves in a position where their racks are still alive. And immediately the call gets made. Get the hell out. Adfin, I'm going to look to push out the lanes. Uh, double sphere, ice pad. I mean, the list goes on and on. It is so hard to hit the buildings. We have Lini and Thug jumping in aggressively, looking for the lockdown on Yapsil for him himself. Holds himself, they managed to get the, the racks down to half. Matter coming back in to try and finish. Tornado from Quake, but and on the ice path as well, trying to just kite They're out. Smoked. They want to go with Kezu. They have the double trouble bubble. Here we go. Looking for the opening, swinging through the trees. There is a ward there, it gets pinged out. But he's out of vision right now. The smoke's still oh, there, and he goes for the okay. backlight. Chrono only gets Spartan. This could be bad. Yeah, and here we go with a follow through. They've already taken us in. There's the refresher, the second Chrono, but MNT already with the BKB out. Koifa trying to drop the, the, the Meteor to Thug, but he ran us out. MNT with the, uh, the Nether Strap, but Yapsaw, he did so much damage there with the Death Ward. Might not be enough, though. They've lost two. Koifa gets out of Hadouken. They've cleaned up two. They'll find Thug as well with the Sheep Stick. Refresh from Koifa. They had the lockdown. So again, Diggersy, they do lose two, but it's a successful defense. They kill three on Abfinum, and Abfinum just can't break the base. More gold, more XP each and every time going to the side of Diggersy. Man fight a bit better. But oh, we talked about it, Owen. Oh, At some point, point, it may be right for your time. Yeah. What's he going to trade out here? Uh, I guess you get rid of the MKB. These fights are normally being decided in like 20 seconds, not 45 plus. So here we go. Thug sieging. There is a glyph. We go, Skylark jumps in, back in, wall onto two, matter as well. Kind of a zoning wall to start, remember, no BKB on Madara, they can tank and just kind of cage stun him down potentially here. He's going to get off the amp on error, he dies very quickly, he's got the Aegis for round two, but oh, the bubble the comes grip. through! And Thug, he has got the uh, he's got the rapier on him, and here with a massive crit coming through, Kezu getting low, does he get the shots to double kill, but there's the vacuum, the refresher wall coming out as well, and MNT moving in with the BKB, getting the bashes out on Terra, the slight of fish ripping through them as well. They'll take down the, uh, the, the, the bases, but they're going to lose to Cinder as well on the security, oh, he's he got the rapier buyback. though, he can fin finish off the melee racks, finally they can break into base to the north, they run, Yapsor running for his life, as maybe next time moves onto him, but the Lotus is there, gonna back away, they've gotten the racks, they can get out cleanly, they don't oh, have a Slardar, the Alchemist has buyback. If they can find more, but again, they've gotta be aware, look at this damn oh no! Not now. The Blink Dagger for Kezu up in three, they might be able to chase to the south, this is yeah, gonna be close. Away. Remnant down. Uh, and get him out. Kezu actually was heading that way, but not able to get there in time. Kezu, he's got time walk, he's got another Chrono, let's see if he can catch anyone. Spartan heading down to the south, to the north, you still got MNT and Skylark hanging around in the tree line, in fact. But I'm still kind of hanging around here, MNT. Yeah, and just a, a moment for Midas. <laughs> I'll take that creep. Oh, Let's looks bad. Thug, he's found Thug, he's found Thug. Quifer, he's doing it. Thug's gone rapier now on the deck. Quifer, can he control this one? Kezu's there as well. They've got a chrono. They've been able to retrieve it. They've now got the rapier on Kezu. 
That play there from Koifer. Might have just done his spot. He's going for the TP out. He is just going to make it in time. But Rapier now on your faceless Void. Suddenly, Void has killing potential. He goes from 200 oh. damage all the way up to like 600. And yeah, Ember's got another Rapier <laughs> along with the buyback. So, oh, okay. Man. This game. This game, LD. All right. Let's see what the next point of call is for both of the teams. It doesn't look like at this rate that... They'll be able to, maybe, well actually, think of the Asians and Cheese, maybe we'll see Alphinim try and make a move on the base again within the next three minutes. And there's still this window, as we talked about, where Kezu and Aero Top don't have lane. Maybe next time he drops the war, he's like, oh, hello, finds Quakefer, but they are rushing. They can BOT on top. They can potentially go for pickoffs here. He sees there's nobody nearby. Aero's outside of the ward vision now, does get scouted out. But you got to think maybe next time wants to charge this, he actually he's pings prone. out Aero, who does not have buyback for two and a half minutes. Shadow blading. He's gonna, he's Are gonna they find gonna Sin. go? He's gonna find Sin. Sin has the gem. He sees him. He sees him. Hey, buddy. Didn't BKB though. I don't think Sin's getting any help with that. Yeah, Cinderin is hardly a hero at this point. Four thousand net worth in a game with a hero's a forty k. They're not gonna risk anything to save the twin head. But that means he doesn't have buyback. He didn't actually have the gold for it as well. So there's no Jakira here for this high ground defense. But as you said, you know. They have Aegis, Maybe not the biggest of and five buybacks. There are seven extra lives here on Adfinum. And still two. One minute there are and only half, two on and there's no, Yeah, no buyback still. This could be an opening for Adfinum to get a lot done. Fortification coming out. You force it here if you're Adfinum. They can smell it. They're close. Vidara moving in, but he does get hexed here. The Lotus to counterplay it. Well done. And they bring down the tower. Diggity. They have maybe one more high ground assault like that before this Rax is going to go down. No Glyph available any longer for the Radiant Owen. They cannot afford to let Adfinum hit these buildings without getting killed. And they need to do it right now. In the trees lurks the Void. He smoked Kezu. Taimoki back a bit deeper. All Wants to Kezu. stay hidden. All about Kezu here. There's two close to each other. There's three close to each other. What's he going to do here? Eyes on he jumps in. Gets the Chrono. Didn't get the bug. bug. He's still outside of it. The refresher. Kezu looking for the second one. The Death Ford pummeling through them. We're looking at rip through Skyline. Madara sound as well. That fight too. Kezu with the Rapier bashing onto Spine. And Time Watch Ford gets a third here. They're taking the edges down on third. The Ice Pass is set it up for a second. I feel the concussion. The controls there. Kezu with a triple kill. The defense from Diggity again is successful. They're doing it, LD, each and every time, holding off Ad Finum. My god. To the casual viewer, this may team may be Cinderin plus four, but they're doing it for minus Cinderin. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh Diggity my. holding. And that again is the, that is the power. That is the power of this combo. The Invoker Void duo. Oh. The wild paints coming out here. Let's see what they can pull off here. Wrapping into the jungle smoke. It's gonna wear out. So it looks like they won't get anything there. They'll just start to pressure in the lane. It looks like no Diggity do want to try and take this fight. But oh. this time, Owen, the tables have turned. Ed Finham huddled in their base. Diggity marching down mid. The raid boss is here. Era all about the siege. He figures if he dies, he'll drop the rapier anyway. Just equip those boots to travel. Come right back into the fight. Meanwhile, he can do as much damage as possible to these towers. He slowly marches in. It's only going to take like Look six shots, seven, eight, and down it goes. There's oh, the force that though. Oh, that awesome here, crapping him on the sidelines. They'll get the coin for tornado straight through onto two. Error will be able to ward this one off. They're going to chase Madara, ready to blink. Not going in yet though. They've lost the range racks. Force Alchemist spirits. can just wait for the chemical rage and reset and do it all over again. And the grip is down. That's a big spell not to have available. And that was also an enfeebled alchemist hitting your base. Oh, maybe See, next time, though, he did find Kezu oh, here on no, the south oh, of the no, fight. Oh, no, no, come on. Not like this. Not now. Not now. Oh. And we're back. And oh, God, what just happened? Oh, God. Well, there's a chrono here catching three. Oh, it's a huge chrono. Three man chrono. Thugs is going to get taken down as well. There's two dead. And they do not have buyback here for three minutes. MNT trying to fight through there. They'll lose the Spirit Breaker. He does have the buyback available, but no dignity that off might be the it. back of that. I think they've done it, LD. What, what an uh, incredible display of endurance this game from the side of no dignity. We it's saw them with their back pushed against the wall, but here we have it now as they clear them out. GG well played, and they've done it. Where's that Cinder and Eggs? Give they've this man an Eggs. He's not going to get it, but... He has it in our hearts. Oh my. No diggity. Game. Hang on against all odds. 80 minutes in. Ad Finum, they had them against the ropes. They had their boot on the throat, but diggity just squirmed their way out, stood back up, delivered the knockout.